Good morning guys, it's Tuesday morning. Technically it's the start of my week because Monday, yesterday was a sleep day because I worked nights over the weekend. I'm just getting up and ready for a workout. I yeah. actually woke up really early this morning. I woke up at like six. Um, so I've been busy, I, I've edited a video and I've got it uploading at the moment as we speak. Now I'm gonna work out and today is gonna be a day where I clean house and buy a few bits and pieces. There's been a few things on my shopping list and I thought I'd just do a big old shop, order things online and I need to pop out to the shops. So I'll take you along for my day with me. So this is my workout outfit. I've got this top that I just bought from Amazon. This is the first time I'm wearing it. Um, I saw a similar one online and I thought it was really cute. The little crop top and the knot detail here. And I've got a white sports bra underneath. And this is again, one that I bought from Amazon. I showed you guys this in my um, Instagram stories. Bought a pack of three for 25 quid and I thought it was a real bargain. It's quite supportive. I'd say it's a medium support, not really one for like an intense hip workout or an intense run, um, but three for 25 quid. I was really chuffed with that. And then I just have some gray leggings that I got from Primark a long time ago. So this is another one of the sports bras. I got a set of three, I got a gray, a white, and a black, and I'll link it down below. This week I'm following a workout plan from Pamela RF. You guys can follow her on Instagram and YouTube. She's got loads of great workouts and they will kick your butt, they are hard work. workout those Pamela RF ones are really good would definitely recommend I'm now having a smoothie got beetroot in it looks disgusting tastes really good very nutritious I've actually filmed a YouTube video for it um, so maybe that will be on my channel already and if it is I'll link it up above so you guys can check that out so this is my outfit of the day um, this is a whistles top and I bought this second hand. This is my first time wearing it. It arrived yesterday I love the detailing around the top of it and as you guys know I'm a sucker for a white cami and then these trousers are also whistles I'm not actually a big whistles wearer normally, but I saw these and I thought that they were a really nice light pair for summer uh, love the little bow detail and These were originally 120 pounds and I bought them on brand alley and I think I got them for like 30 quid or something like that so a bit of a bargain really one of the things that I had to do on my list was going through all my old toiletries and makeup and chucking away a load of it and reorganizing it I don't know about you guys but I found that I had loads of old things that I was keeping for kind of like oh I might need this for when I go on a night out or something I just never reached for those products they were old crusty and they needed to go so I feel loads better for chucking them away I thought we could sit down and have a bit of a chatty catch up. So yeah, my nails are, they're growing really well. They're looking quite um, quite long. I, my, norm, my nails normally flake quite a lot, um, but recently they've been growing really well. But my cuticles are in dire need of some TLC. When I get anxious or I don't sleep that well, my, I tend to have this bad habit of picking at my cuticles. Um, and last week I just had a bit of a, a bit of a crappy week really and ended up picking at my cuticles quite a lot so I'm gonna get my cuticle cream give them a little sort out so yeah how are you guys all coping with the lockdown and, and everything that's going on it's, for me similar to most people I've had ups and downs um, I've mainly been okay I've been like quite enjoying I've been, been enjoying work been quite I've been enjoying like pottering about the house and Vince and I having lots more time at home and in the garden and spending loads of time together that's been lovely um, but I have I have been struggling with not seeing friends and family and I don't live near my friends and family. So that's been quite difficult, even though the lockdown restrictions have been eased a bit. Uh, yeah, last week I just had a bit of a flat week. Like on the surface, everything was fine. Um, I had a really productive week. Work was good. Um, things were great at home. 
but I just felt a bit flat. I think it's because I've not been sleeping that well because it's been so warm, hasn't it? Yeah, I haven't spoken about it publicly because it's not really like my story to tell. I've had a couple of family members who have been really quite poorly and that's been sort of playing on my mind a bit and I think subconsciously that also might have contributed to my poor sleep. It's a bit more rainy and cloudy outside today, so I'm staying in and doing a an admin day. I've got loads of work to do on the computer um, for my YouTube channel, for my Etsy shop, um, and for the business that I'm setting up. So I'm in a bit more of a comfy loungewear outfit. It's a really comfy loungewear set that I got from Mango. Really, really soft, knitted rib, little tie detail, and comfy knitted trousers. Just so nice for lounging about when you're at home. I'm also feeling a bit pasty white, so I fake tanned after my shower. As you guys know, I don't suntan, I use fake tan and I use SPF 50. So for SPF I use this one, Factor 50. I've got really oily skin as I've mentioned and this one just goes on beautifully. It doesn't leave you really shiny. Um, I've nearly run out, I need to get some more actually. And then I've just bought this one which is a spray, it's like an aerosol mist and you just, you can spray it over the top of your makeup. Um, I, it says SPF 50, but I don't feel like it gives quite as good coverage as this one, but I'm gonna keep this one as like a handbag one that I can use to reapply when I'm out and about. And then I've been using this fake tanner for a long time um, I love Bondi Sands, they're my favourite self-tanner brand. I feel like they give the most natural looking tan. It's not orangey, it doesn't have any weird smell to it. This is a dry oil, so you spray this on and apply it just like you would any other fake tan. And then you can put your clothes on over the top, so it doesn't. It means you don't have to have that time of waiting while your self-tan dries. I also like the One Hour Express from Bondi Sands, but I've run out of that, so I'm using this one at the moment. And then on my face, I've been using this one, these Saint Tropez drops, um, and you just put, I don't know, eight to ten drops on your skin uh, before you apply your moisturiser. So I apply this probably every other night before I go to bed. Right, now I have a phone call with a mo mortgage broker. Very exciting things, lots of admin to do today. I'm going to crack on. It's Friday today and we are just on our way to a house viewing in the countryside quite looking forward to this one. It's a bit of a doer-upper, but it'd be nice to see something different, would you reckon, Vince? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very different from where we live at the moment. So far, so good, but definitely needs a lot of work. I mean, maybe this is beyond our skill level. Remember what the guy said about walking on this floor? the Wow, yeah, I see what you mean about the roof in here. Today is our six year anniversary and I'm actually working a night shift tonight. So we celebrated it last night instead and we went out for a beautiful walk and a picnic today. And then, yeah, last night we had a really lovely meal. to get going to work. I'm working a 10 till 8 shift and I managed to actually have a sleep today which is rare for me before my first night. I managed to get about an hour and a half, two hours sleep so feeling fresh. I've just had a coffee as well. In an ideal world obviously I wouldn't be working on our anniversary but the weekend night shifts were the only ones that were available and I've got to take what I can get so here I am. At the start of the shift, we go to a handover meeting and get told where we're working. So, for example, COVID, non-COVID, majors, minors. I am in the short stay ward tonight. So, I've got Lydia, Hello. my buddy. We worked a shift together tonight. Just finished a very busy shift with yeah. some interesting people. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. It's very busy. I was on my own in the short stay unit, and Lydia came around to see how I was doing, like, see if I wanted to have a break together, and basically just came and saved my life. <laughs> there was just so much happening and nothing else happening anywhere else, so yeah. stayed for a bit. Thank you. That's all right. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good sleep today. Yeah, very excited. Me too. Good night. Bye. 
back home now. I'm just about to get in, well, going to dry my hair and then get into bed. Um, yeah, my shift last night was, oh, well, busy. I was in the short stay unit and it's more like a ward than actually working in the emergency department. It's where patients go to wait for results um, of scans or blood tests, often ones that take a really long time. And then you decide from there whether or not those patients come into hospital or whether they're well enough to go home. It's quite a high turnover of patients and it can be really busy. A lot of those patients are fairly unwell I mean they're stable but they've got things that need doing from a doctor's point of view and then whenever those patients go home it's the doctor's job to write a letter to the GP explaining exactly what's happened so a discharge summary um yeah it was a busy night because we had a quite a couple of uh I'm not going to give details because they were quite specific cases but um behaviorally challenging patients so that was interesting um yeah I didn't get my break until like half four and I kept it was one of those shifts where I kept being like right I'm going to finish this job this is really urgent I'll get this done and then I can go on my break and then as soon as I get towards the end of that job another thing would come up and I just wasn't getting a chance to go um, and I was the only doctor around there at about four half four Lydia came round and she was working in majors but they were up to date with all of their jobs and all of their patients in majors so she just came around to see how I was doing because she knew I was on my own around there um on my own as in as the only doctor around there there were nursing staff as well um and she covered me for my break and then she stayed till the end of the shift in that department so that um we could work together and crack through all the jobs because it was the busier area of the department last night so that was nice it made it quite sociable so yeah saw a variety of things last night um malignancies unfortunately a dvt so a vein a deep vein thrombosis so a clot in one of the veins of the legs pneumonia mental health problems tonsillitis and lots and lots of paracetamol overdoses um and quite a few of those non-intentional lots of people having toothache and t taking too much paracetamol. I've talked about this in previous videos. It's a very common theme in A&E. Um, yeah, not good, not good. A lot of people just absolutely not realizing that you're meant to only take a maximum of eight paracetamol tablets a day, four to six hours apart, and that is if you're over 50 kilos. Lots of patients are taking paracetamol, two tablets every two hours, which is wrong, 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 don't do that. Yeah, lots of patients doing that. And I think that has probably something to do with lockdown. You know, people don't have access to their dentists at the moment. Um, so just kind of dealing with toothache and reaching for the paracetamol and ibuprofen every time it uh, the, the pain flares up. So I can kind of understand where that's coming from. So I'm back in again tonight. I have had lots of Etsy orders overnight, which is really good. Um, my sister and I have an Etsy shop um, and we've just done a little promotion of that and that's that seems to have done well so when I get up from my sleep today I'm going to package up those orders and get them out so yeah time to go to sleep now hopefully I'll get about five or six hours at least once I've passed that five hour mark of sleep I know that I'm going to be okay that is a good amount of sleep for me in the day and I know that I'll function all right tonight so fingers crossed so it's Saturday evening now and I slept like an absolute dream got seven and a half hours <laughs> felt really good when I woke up um which is it's really rare for me on a night shift to get you know like I said earlier more than like five or six hours and I normally end up catching up after nights so yeah feeling really good um not really wearing much makeup while we are wearing all these masks at work because I find that it just you know firstly there's no point because no one can see my face and secondly the makeup just gets squished into my skin um, by the mask. I'm just putting on some primer, which is like a, um, it's a matte and blur primer just to take away some of the shine that I'm prone to getting on my skin. So everything has been happening this week with the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I am horrified by everything that's been happening in America and in the UK as well. Um, I spoke about it a little bit on my Instagram, but I wanted to address it on here as well. And I've been spending a lot of time, well, Vince and I have both been spending a lot of time this week educating ourselves, um, 
trying to learn as much as we can. I have I have read a, a fair few books on this topic and listened to quite a lot of podcasts and blog posts, things like that. But it just this week has gone to show me how little I know on this subject and that we all could do better to educate ourselves some more. Um, so I'm really making an effort to do that and I want it to be something, you know, I want this to be a, a life change. I don't want this to be a, a one week thing that I try and learn more about. So yeah, going to make sure that I download a few more audiobooks on this topic there's a, that I listened to um, an episode. Do you guys listen to the podcast The High Low? If you don't, I would highly recommend it. It's brilliant. Um, they they had the author of I'm Not Your Baby Mother on there. Um, she was so eloquent and spoke really passionately about racism issues um, and her experiences. And she's done a lot of research for that book. Um, and I'm definitely going to listen to that book or read that book. Um, she sounds like she has a lot of good stuff to say. And I'm also trying to put my money where my mouth is as well. So I have donated a couple of one-off donations to Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter causes, and I've also started a monthly payment to a Black Educational Fund. Um, and I'll link that down below if you guys want to have a look and you know suss out some of your own ways to put your money where your mouth is. I think the really big changes have to come from government policy, um, but. You know, we have some power in ourselves. It can be easy to think that in situations that are this horrifying um, and where there's so much systemic racism that we are powerless, but that is not true. We all have the power to make a small difference in our sphere. Um, so, you know, donate that money, sign that petition, support that black business. We can all make a difference, but you do have to take action. <laughs> So it's Monday morning now, which for me at the moment is the end of my week um, and for most of you guys it's the start of your week. So I'm on a bit of a different time schedule. Last night's shift, not going to lie, it was actually quite boring. Um, I don't know if you can hear me over the sound of the washing machine, I've got my uniform in to wash. Um, yeah, I was in the non-Covid recess and it just was really quiet. Um, which is unusual. It's normally very busy, um, but all of the patients that were coming into that needed recess had some suspected COVID symptoms. So maybe a temperature, or they were short of breath, um, or they had other symptoms of COVID. And so all of them ended up in the COVID side. And I think I only saw like three patients. Um, so yeah, really not very busy. I ended up going and helping out over on the short stay unit and writing some of the discharge letters for um, to help out the doctor that was working around there. So yeah, saw someone with abdominal pain. Um, didn't find out what it was as I left the shift they were going to the CT scan uh, saw someone else who most likely has had a heart attack um, very strong history for that and what else did I see oh yes sadly someone with a malignancy that has spread um, so that's that's quite a sad case that was actually a handover to me so yeah quite quite a diverse mix of things um, I am gonna get myself to bed now. This vlog has probably been, I have no idea how much footage I have in this, probably been a monster vlog. Um, let me know if you enjoy these kind of longer vlogs and, um, and I will make more of them if you, if you wanna see these kind of what I get up to in a whole week videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all staying well, staying safe, looking after one another, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys. I'm very excited to be able to tell you that I'm starting a weekly newsletter. It's going to go out every Tuesday. I've been meaning to do this for a really long time. I wanted to create some more content for you guys, some recommendations, favorite things of the week, quotes, recipes, all that good stuff that I love sharing with you on Instagram. And we can just do a bit more of a deep dive in the newsletter. It's another way that we can keep in touch. And it's all the things that I would recommend to my friends and family, and it's coming straight to your inbox. So subscribe down in the description box below. 
This week's shout out goes to Ning Ning Mariano. Thank you for your comment. I love making vlogs, so I'm so pleased that you guys enjoy watching them. All right, guys, take care. Bye.